In a column that appeared online on January 11, 2021, Paxton wrote that the invasion of the Capitol, quote, removes my objection to the fascist label. Trump's open encouragement of civic violence, but he didn't encourage civic violence. Paxton tells a lie here. Phones, friends, remember something, just on a personal note. I've been broadcasting for 40 years. So I either have a really, really, really good record of credibility, or I've been lying and getting away with it for 40 years. If the second is unlikely, very unlikely. My commitment to truth is first. It is before every other commitment. He said, go there peacefully. Those are that we have the words. Trump's open encouragement of civic violence to overturn an election crosses a red line. I'm curious, why doesn't it cross a red line for this historian Robert Paxton? Why doesn't it cross a red line when there is collusion between the government and big tech to lie to the American people, to squelch all dissent? Why doesn't it cross a red line when both Harris and Walls promise that they will use the state to squelch dissent, i.e. Uh, I. or e.g. or, well, e.g., for example, misinformation and disinformation, because if you do not hear it from the government, it is not true. As Jacinda Ardern, former Prime Minister of New Zealand, said in one of the great illuminating moments of the recent past, if you do not hear it from the government, it is not true. Else you see um, a grain of salt. And, and when you see those messages, remember that unless you hear it from us, um, it is not the truth. Unless you hear it from us, it is not the truth. She's now teaching at Harvard. Isn't that perfect? It's like, it's like a movie. <laughs> the label now seems not just acceptable, but necessary, said this fool Paxton. You know, it, it's, so, it, it's so interesting how a man could destroy his reputation at the age of 92 because they hate Trump. That's it. That's all. But it shows you the facile nature of thinking among academics. How could a party or individual that wants smaller government be a fascist threat? Just asking. <laughs> 